welcome to <laughs> Fur Baby Fine Art here. Let me tell you a story. Do you see this? I was born in Maryland. Garrett County. Right here. This is sweet. Let's be honest. Maryland has the best flag. After high school, Columbus, Ohio. It's the only non-rectangular U.S. state flag. I lived in, I lived this, in garage this garage for eight, for eight and a half, and a half years. years. This is what this it looked like looked after, like after, after a, fire. a fire. Then in 2012, I made the big move to New York City. New York state flag. So that's the story of the flags. I thought it'd make the studio look a little bit better. It tells the story of the three states that I've lived in. Let's get back to painting fur babies. It's really important to remember that you are making a painting. You are not copying a photo. Let me repeat. Do not copy photos. You are making a painting. So here we're going to take a look at the reference for the painting of this dog. And I'm going to point out some very important things. What color would you say is this dog? Depending on which photo you would copy, the dog would be a different color. The dog looks gray on the left, white in the center, and brown on the right. You need all three photos to get enough information to make a painting. If this lady wanted a photo of her dog, she already has three of them. She wants a painting, and that's what we do. We make paintings. Not copying photos is an aesthetic decision. It just looks bad. The photos are important. It provides information that you have to translate into paint. But you have to understand how paint and color work. It's very difficult to do and it will take you a very long time. And that's what makes it art, and we are, fur baby, fine art. Remember, what's the number one rule when you finish a painting? Always, always, always celebrate. Cheers.